It's one of the best things UC's ever done. UC is paying for police patrols, and the walking beats are driven by technology. Good evening, everyone. Robberies of cell phones and money in one part of Coryville are changing the way that police patrol the area. Five such crimes happened in one month between 6 and 11 at night. And that detailed information determines when and where police officers paid by the University of Cincinnati will patrol. Local 12 News reporter Deborah Dixon tells us it's back to the future with old-time foot patrols being dictated by technology. So you'll have a lot of student traffic back and forth in this area. There have been daytime robberies in these few blocks of Coryville recently. Him with his phone and the headphones on, walking to class or walking home, very distracted. Now where crime goes, special police patrols will follow to prevent something bad from happening or catch a bad guy in the act. The new data-driven beat patrols are seven days a week. The time depends on what time the crimes happen that they're trying to prevent. We run this about every week so that we can stay current on recent crime trends. The other thing we do is if an area is not identified, but yet something happened just yesterday, we won't wait to find a week later if it happened. We'll use that as current, up-to-date information. The sign-up sheets for the walking beats include mappings of where crimes happened and when, including thefts from cars, assaults, and robberies. For suppressing this particular type of crime, this is, the, this is where and when you should probably be. Police officer Joe Lorenz analyzes all the crime data. He's entering three years' worth of theft from autos into a database now. As long as it doesn't happen, that's the best end result. But if we catch them doing it, that's great. If we keep them from showing up and doing it because they see an officer there, that's fine too. For businesses such as Martino's and Short Vine, the more uniforms, the better. Yeah, the presence the, of the, that uniform does get rid of the unsavory people. It's going to be, you know, what they're planning is great. Data shows criminals go back to the same places to do the same things where they've been successful in the past. Now that's exactly where cops will be. And when the crime moves, the white hats will follow. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. The officers on the beat also have specific suspect information, including age and physical appearance to go on.